Hello and congratulations on getting access to this video course on on-page SEO for WordPress sites. This is video number one and we're going to talk about what's inside this video course. Now before we do that and before I give you a quick overview, what I want to do is talk about mindset because I'm a big believer that if you're in the wrong mindset, then even if you have this video course, even if you try to implement a few things, it's ultimately going to hold you back. And I've seen this time and time again, this specific mindset that I'm about to talk about holds business owners back. And we don't want to see that happen to you. We want to see you succeed as much as possible. Here is the mindset. The mindset is that people make the assumption that every single SEO technique and rule changes rapidly so that what worked 15 years ago doesn't work now. Now, I will say a large majority, yes, it's true that search engine optimization does change rapidly every single month. Now, at the same time, and yes, that is true to a certain extent, but there are basic fundamentals that Google and other search engines look for that still hold true today that still work today. So well, let me repeat that. Not everything has changed. It might have changed slightly. But if you get into that mindset of, oh, everything changes, you know, everything that used to work 10 years ago doesn't work now, then you're putting yourself in a dangerous position simply because you will forget the basics. Now, there are a lot of basic fundamental SEO rules, but we're really going to focus on five factors. And I'll talk more about that later down the road. So we're going to be focusing on these factors that haven't changed, or if they have changed, they've only changed very, very slightly in the last decade. So make sure that you're not in this mindset. Otherwise, it will prevent you from actually moving forward. So here's a quick overview of what's inside this video course. Of course, this is video number one, which is the introduction. Video number two is going to be the main focus. So we're going to make sure that you have a clear view of what we're going to talk about. Video number three, we're going to talk about five important factors that you definitely should implement in your WordPress site. Video number four, we're going to talk about the URL structure such as what should your domain look like? What should the URL look like? And all of that. Video number five, we're going to talk about body text structure. Video number six, we're going to talk about image optimization and basically how to make your images more search engine friendly. Video number seven, we're going to talk about title optimization and how long your titles should be. Video number eight, we'll talk about metadata optimization and how that can affect what text and what information will show up on the search engines. And of course, last but not least, this is sort of a bonus, but in video number nine, I'm going to talk about the top two WordPress plugins that we highly recommend that you install. So once you understand these five important factors and you've actually implemented them yourself, then you can actually automate things, but automating things, doesn't really help you in the long run. It's sort of like a shortcut without understanding the basics and the fundamentals. You're actually hurting yourself. You're not really going to know why you're ranking. All right. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need to have a WordPress site. If you don't have a WordPress site, these uh, fundamentals still hold true as well. But most of what I'm going to be showing you is how to implement these five factors into your WordPress site. You're also going to need to have a general idea of what the general keyword is that you want to rank on. And then of course you want to have a list of specific keywords related to that general keyword. And the reason why you need to have these in hand is because you're going to use these in your body text, your title text, your metadata text, and even your image alt tag text. So you're also going to need access to content, written text and or images to create your post. Now, if you don't have all this information 
right now, that's fine. But you're, you're definitely going to need it eventually. So with that said, let's move on to video number two.